Come right on in. Come on in. You guys are fine. Parents too. Everybody gets to come in together. Hey Chris, thanks for doing this. I'm happy to help. This can be fun. Thank you. All right, now I can officially do legitimate science. All right, so this is what we have to cover. Read Pascal's Law, tell about some inventions that use Pascal's Law. Read Newton's first law of motion, show in three different ways how inertia works. That's going to be fun. Explain what causes fog, show how this works. Explain how crystals are formed, make some. Read Bernoulli's principle and show how it works. <laughs> so you have to explain the scientific method to your adult partner. We just did a science project and we had to do all those you things. You had to do all those things? So you guys already got this? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that means that for no practical reason whatsoever, we get to blow something up. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Go, what do you got? Why did you put the I would like to thank you for being the best soundbite I've had this year. <laughs> Why did we put the Tesla coils in where there's water? We didn't, the roof leaks. And that's how we broke the Tesla coils. What do you, what's like your favorite thing to do? Like, what's what's my favorite thing to do? Yeah. At this job? Oh, well that's, okay, that really has to happen. <laughs> this isn't the answer I'm supposed to give on camera, but because what I usually say on camera is blowing stuff up or stuff like that, but you really want to know what my favorite thing to do in this job is? What? I'm doing it right now. Talking to little kids? Teaching guys about science. This is the best part of my job. <laughs> you think about that and we'll come back. Why is my job so complicated? Because science is complicated. It isn't at the base level, but if science isn't complicated, break down for me, if you would please, the fundamentals of string theory. I wear the lab coat and I gotta be all professional because I'm addressing, you know, I'm addressing, I'm addressing Cub Scouts and I have to be a pinnacle of the community, but what you didn't see is I got this in my t-shirt. Yeah. So yeah, it's the geek group guys, we're all nerds. All right. My job is, basically I have to explain really weird things to guys like you and I get to do that by blowing things up, so it's pretty easy at the end of the day. Go! Are you a geek? Yes. Yeah, it's on my card and everything, see? Alpha Geek, that's me. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah. That's true. Okay. When you're your age and people call you geek and nerd and you get beat up and stuffed in a locker and all that, okay, live for that. Be smarter than your teachers, because when you get to be my age, they call you boss. What do you guys need to say? You're quite welcome. Thank you for coming and being in this audience. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.